polymorphism. Let's talk about polymorphism. So I uh, hopefully you saw the previous video where we build this little program uh, where we have a person class. Uh, the student class, which extends person, and the employee class, which extends person. And the person class has a two-string method. You know, the, the person has a name, the student has credits, and the employees have salaries. And uh, the person has a two-string method, which you saw here, simply returns the name. Uh, but the student also, I defined it to have a two-string method. So, and then we printed. We created some students, Harry, Hermione, Ron, and we give them credit, and then uh, we print them out. So we called, you remember, this is actually calling Harry.toString method. And uh, this one is also, that's just, you know, the two string gets added there by Java. And so the, so the, here it seems very clear Harry's a student. So when I Try to print out is going to call the two-string method in the student class. You know this method. So that seems pretty clear. Clear. Uh, okay, but let's do something else. Let's say I create this person person uh, array of you know oh, I'm sorry a person array people is of a size four. And I'm gonna put Harry, her, Miney, Ron, and Hagrid in there. So the people array is an array of four people, and they are Harry, her, Manny, Ron, and Hagrid. Right? I can do that, right? Because Harry is a student, but a student is a person, right? And Hagrid is an employee, but an employee is a person because the class employee extends person. So I can do that. Then I can do a for each, um, like so. Uh, and I can print out the person. Right. So this is interesting, right? So notice this is capital person, the type, this is lowercase person, the actual person. Uh, another way to make this even clearer is just say a person, a person. So just changing the variable name. So, okay, but now here is an interesting question. Uh, when we go through this loop the first time around, it's gonna be Harry, so a person, is gonna be Harry, but the question is, because a person is of type person, is this going to call person dot two string? So it is going to call this two string here. Uh, I'm sorry, this one, uh, which just returns the name, or is it gonna call the student dot two string, which returns the name and the credits? But one easy way to find out, so you run it. And you see, it actually called the uh, student dot two string, right? So that is good. That is what we wanted, right? So this is nice because it means we can build this whole big array of persons, right? And the persons can be, you know, anything that inherits from the person class. So in this case, we only have students and employees, but we could have, you know, something else could inherit from student. We could have graduate students. And inherit from student that inherit from person, and we can have you know faculty staff that inherit from employee that inherits from person, and uh, so we can have this person array that contains just persons, and then uh, just we want a list of all the people, so we go run this loop and print out everyone, uh, but then when Java is running through it, what happens is it figures out that this person, oh, this is an actually an employee. So I'm gonna go employee.person. Oh, this is actually a student. So I'm gonna call student.person. Uh, so this confuses people at first. I think the easy way to remember this, the way this is working, is that the people array, right? The people array, you know, it's an array in memory. And it actually stores the so people zero actually has 
Harry, right? It has a copy of the, an inst the Harry, which is an instance of student. And uh, that's people zero. And then uh, people one has Hermione and so forth. So when, uh, when we go through the loop, we get to people one, that is actually a student. So we actually call it calling student dot two string. So this is actually calling, remember this is the same as this. Um, so this is actually calling the student dot two string because the contents of people one is actually a student. The contents of people three is actually an employee. So uh, this is very useful, and this is you know one just is you know very common because we many times we want to aggregate, so we want to build an array of all these different data types, but you know we, they're all different. We have we, we don't want an array of students and another array of employees and another array of whatever uh, because we want a simple loop where we can just print all people. So this is a very common, easy way to do it using polymorphism.